<laughs> we're back. <laughs> again. All right. So we're back. We are going to do this thing all over again. This uh, video on the factory ammo that we did for the 6.5 Creed. The sound was terrible on the last one because I screwed up the settings. Uh, should be good now. All right. So we're going to do just jump into it. We went and bought, we went to Academy. Yep. And bought 10 different types of ammo. Well, we bought like whatever that we could find that they had. If it was on the shelf and it said 6.5 Creedmoor, right. we got a box. And it was diff nine different ones, plus we had the burger the here. Yeah. So we tested 10 different types of ammo. The test, uh, five shot groups. Five shot groups. At 100 yards. Mm -hmm. You started, you shot five with the burgers. Five with the burgers. Then here, here's the list. So we, <laughs> here's, here's what we tested. Burger 130, six hour 129, Nosler 140. Actually, I'm going to get a little bit more specific. I have the picture right here of all the ammo that we tested. Yep. So, Burger 130s, six hour with a 129 grain soft point hunting ammunition. Nosler, uh, they had the 130 Acubons, I think. Then we tried the 140 Acubons. 140, is that what it was? Okay. And then we did the Norma. The Whitetail, 6.5 Creedmoor, 140 grain. Then we did the Barnes. Uh, what did that have? Something like a door locker. I'm not sure. No, not a door locker. <laughs> not, uh, Barnes. A, what was it? Is it, is it not on? Uh, Barnes the, has the, uh, anyway. Do we have the boxes? I, yeah, they're. We do have the boxes. Go get the boxes. Norm Bark. I'm not sure. All right, we're back. So let's start over. <laughs> the uh, burgers. Here's all the ammo. So the burger was the burger shooting the uh, 130 grain hybrid OTM tactical. Okay, that's the burger. I'll put them right here so you guys can see. And then uh, we had the six, six hour. hour. Where's the sig? Right the here. Nari soft points. Six hour, shooting the uh, 129 grain soft point hunting ammunition. Okay? Put it right here. There it is. Okay? Then we had the Nosler. Nosler had the 140 grain ballistic tip. Okay, so that's the oh, Nosler. And then we had the Norma. Right on top, right there, that black box. Nope, this one. I think so. No, this is Federal. Oh, we're going to get into that. Where's the Norma? Oh, right, here. right here. Norma. This is the Norma Whitetail. Uh, what bullet is this? 140 grain. Whatever, whatever bullet that is. Okay. And then we had the uh, barns. barns. Here's the barns. Is this the barn? Yep. With, this is the barns with 140 grain JHP. Jacketed hollow point. BT. Yeah. Okay. That's what they had. Now, keep in mind, this is what we found at Academy. There was no other... Planning other than let's see what we can find on the shelf because it's pointless to. Obviously, it's impossible to <laughs> test something we can't find. Uh, after that, it's the Winchester. The Winchester PowerPoint, and this is the uh, 129 grain, whatever, uh, whatever they call it, their 129. Here it is. All right, and then after that, we had the uh, federal. federal. All right, somebody please read what it says right there. <laughs> there was somebody really mad in the comments in the other video, which will be deleted, so you're not going to be able to find them uh, once I release this one because of the better sound. Uh, somebody was really, really upset that we were calling this ammo federal. It's federal. It's federal. Says American Eagle. Now, Federal makes different types of ammunition. Yes, they do. They make 
the 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 gold match ammunition, mm-hmm. right? This is not it. Guess no, what? They didn't have a gold match at Academy, so we got this. So yes, we are going to be calling it federal in the tests because, because it's, federal. it's federal. Okay. After that, we had Aguila. That's it. That's it. So we had the Aguila six five Creed full metal jacket boat tail. Okay. All right. <sighs> then we had the Hornady E L D M. So the M starts for match. Match. Okay. This one. Okay. Hornady. Match. Ammunition. Okay. And then, finally, we had the Hornady Precision Hunter. Uh, and this one is shooting a 143 grain ELDX. Okay. So this is what's being tested today. Again, if, if Academy didn't have it, we didn't use it. Because we couldn't. <laughs> you can't shoot something you don't have. Okay? No, I mean, we went to the store that day, and what we could get off the hit, if they had federal gold medal match. We would have bought it. We would have bought it. We literally bought every 6.5 Creed ammo they had. One box of each. And then we decided, let's do a test. Well, the test, the kind of the idea already had happened. That's why we went there. But that's what happened. Okay? Now... The test. There's been a lot of people mad about how we did the test. This is a good thing about having released the video and having to re-release it because uh, we we could read to the comments. So how we conducted the test was five shots of each, Mm -hmm. each, each ammo on rifle number one, five shots on rifle number two, and then front to back, it. and then reverse the order. So obviously, the first ones are going to shoot on the cold barrel of the first go round, and and the last ones are going to shoot on the hottest of the barrel could be. Yep. And then when you reverse it, the ones that shot when the barrel was super hot, now they're shooting on the cold barrel, and yep. on the way back now it's vice ver- vice versa, right? Yep. So the middle ones are always shooting on a hot barrel. Does that mean they're more consistent or less consistent? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> right. So, I mean, each of those, so there is four iterations, right? And it probably took, because um, that was a long day out at the range. Right. And that probably took about, and I want to say 45 minutes per string. Yeah. So, anyway, there was not w- much waiting between shots. You do five, you'd stop. Uh, Reset the, reset the chronograph. Radar, get up, jam a magazine with five more, get back, get situated. Yeah, get get, get situated and then do it again. Okay, so that's what this, that was the test. This is not what you would call a super uh, technical test or, or Absolutely lab. Not. The lab was not available that day, <laughs> so we did what we could. Yep. Uh, some people are saying we should have been cleaning between every five-shot group or between. No, we're not going to do that. No, that's so a waste of time. Change, change of powder. What? No, no, we're not going to do that. And you will see in the test, uh, you know, you will see. Hey, I it, think it's pretty conclusive. If you look at if you look at the charge and if you look at the groups, you know there there's some variances. Is it variances in the groups? But if you look at the groups, they're <clears throat> printing the same. Meaning there's consistency. Right. And you'll see the graphs. The I mean, graphs for me the graph consistently messed up, but <laughs> for me the gra- for me the graph tells the full story. Yep. But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, let's go. Let me uh put up the screen right here. And uh here we go. So here's the ammo that we tested. I already showed you. So there it is. And Here's the, we already discussed the order in which they were fired. And here's the uh, atmospheric conditions for that day. It's a great day. 77.7 temperature. Triple seven. Yeah. <laughs> Triple seven. Okay. That's freaking lucky. And this is the needs more number one. This is the, uh, 
This is the one with the Oryx chassis. Yeah, Oryx chassis. Oh, that's the other thing. The uh, the rifles are not set up identical. One of them has an Oryx chassis. Yep. Uh, it has a aftermarket trigger. Yes, it does. And it has uh, that's it. That's it. Oryx chassis aftermarket trigger. That's it. Okay. The other one, which is need more number two. Yep. Has the stock 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 has which has been pillar bedded and glass bedded at mm-hmm. the recoil lug and you made a makeshift uh cheek riser yep and it has a bag rider bag rider that uh a member sent in and i'm apologize i can't remember your name or what you're calling that um they sent two one that was plastic one was a metal using the one that was plastic mm-hmm. on it um kind of going with the cheapest version type thing um but you know what it did make it more comfortable to shoot so we're, 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 we'll tell you guys more about that later but that's how the rifles were set up mm-hmm. other than that they're identical they both have callus 318 scopes on them yep. and uh the uh, tuners were taken out of tune and set to oh, zero very important yeah so that they, they both have tuner brakes on them but we put them both at zero so that there, it doesn't favor any brand of ammunition. You know, mm-hmm. I, technically it should favor something, but we don't know what. So we just went to zero. Yep. I mean, uh, by luck, could, it, but statistically or the law of chances, yep, it probably did favor something. Something. <laughs> but the point is um, we could have took the brakes completely off and shot the test, but it's pretty horrendous to shoot that many yep. rounds yep. without a brake. Uh, that, I mean, and it's it just not, hops all over. It, it doesn't help... In that case, it would favor the would, rifle without the chassis. Well, it, exactly. But you look at I mean, it, it, and would it's favor like, the, how are you going to test your ammo? Like, if you're trying to do this on, um, you know, a budget, Yeah. It, like, do people, well, I'm going to conduct a test, so I'm going to take off my muzzle device. You just changed your harmonics. Yeah. yeah that test is wrong. Yeah. So, so we left it alone. Left it alone. And just put them at zero, the tuners. Okay? That's how that went. Okay, here we go. Uh, here is the, uh, I'm just going to fast forward. So the, the first one, for, it's the, the burger, the burger. So there's one. Now this is completely cold bore, right? Cold bore. Clean barrel. Yep. Clean barrel. One, two, three, four, five. You can see the first one was out. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's already off to a really good start. The next one, uh, it's, it's the, the six uh, hour one twenty nine. Six hour one twenty nine. Messing things up. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Five. So five. that's uh I would call that one MOA ish. Uh, then we have the uh Nosler one forty. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, four of those were really good. Yep. And then fell apart. Well, I wouldn't call that falling apart. That that was pretty good, except, well, I mean, we count all shots. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> uh, then after that is the Norma 140. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay, three, three of the, those are pretty badass. <laughs> yeah. So this is, uh, let's call this 60% ammunition. It's really good for mm-hmm. 60% of the time. Well, 60% <laughs> of the time it works all the time. <laughs> And then we have the Barnes 140. I wish I had had some of that Barnes with a triple shock or whatever they call it. Uh-huh. Or some of those, but they didn't. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Not horrendous, you know. I, I, I mean, like right off the bat from right here, like this is five in, right? Those are probably all tunable with the tuner. Possibly. Uh, I, I would think something the, yeah, we could. So, like number three and number four, because of how those flyers are, uh huh. You're you're gonna see those flyers in a tune. Like you can't like that's a defect in the bullet, low BC or something like that. Then you look at number five. See, like see how it grouped? It grouped wide. There's no flyers. That's just how it grouped. Right. That you're gonna tune the six hour. You're gonna tune on obviously the burgers. You, you can tune better than that. Yeah. But well, the burgers, I, I don't know. But anyway, so uh, let's let's continue. Let's go. 
Uh, that was the that was the Barnes. Now it's the Winchester. Winchester. One, two, three. Oh, four, five. Yeah, that's getting big. <laughs> it, it is, but I mean the water lines decent, uh, but and and that's again if you're wide. if you're hunting hogs or whatever deer at 100 yards yes uh-huh. there's a lot of hunting at 100 yards in texas yes, somebody asked is. in the comments who shoots deer at 100 yards uh, in texas happens all the time like most it's, i'm gonna say the majority it's like wisconsin hunters i ain't shooting more than 100 maybe 200 yards that's yeah. all i need exactly right. so there's a lot of people again i'm not saying this is optimum i'm just saying it's it's a pretty limited if you think who hunted 100 yards precisely? If you do, this works. If you mm-hmm. don't, then obviously this has a very limited purpose. Very limited. Okay. And then we're off to the federal. federal. The federal. Yes. it's You, you guys saw it. It says federal on the box. One, two, <laughs> all right, two, three, four. It's off to the right of the paper. Way over four there. Four and Five. five. That's a big group. And then next is the Aguila, Aguila 140s. One, two, right next to the Federal on the right side. <laughs> Where's the other one? Three. Four at the bottom. Below. Five's lost in the sauce. It's low. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So that's even worse than that. Aguila's looking Federal look pretty good about, about this point. Oh, they're competing. <laughs> now we're, we're on to the Hornady ELD M140. That's one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Hornady. Oh, pretty man. Good. Hot barrel, too. Yeah, and now this barrel's cooking at this point. And guess what? They're still grouping pretty still good. Still grouping. The, the, the ammo that groups is grouping. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, I don't think if we had shot Federal first... It would have made a difference. But. Well, if I shot it first, none of the shots would be on paper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. And then Hornady EODX. One, two, three, four. We only captured four. The video got cut off, but it's okay. Uh, let's move on to the next screen. Here it is at the bottom. You know, group number 10. Right here, and that is a uh, six ninety two. Yep. So slightly under three quarter MOA. Uh, this graph just tells you everything you need to see. Oh, you can see the burgers. Point five eleven. So let's call that half MOA. Half MOA. And then we have the uh, six hour at eight ninety seven. That's still sub MOA. The Nosler, 931, still sub MOA, not bad. And then we have the uh, the Norma 140, inch and three sixteenths, or three, that's not three sixteenths, 1.316, <laughs> okay? And then the Burgers, still no, hanging. No, not the Burgers, Barnes. The Barnes, I'm sorry. The Barnes, 140, pretty good. Just slightly over one MOA. And then we have the Winchester, which is two MOA, two and a, two and a quarter MOA, two and three eighths MOA. And then, of course, the Federals, they spike way up. <laughs> and then the Aguilas, 140. Now, you could argue, curve? you could argue, at this point, you could argue that, hey, well, the barrel's getting super hot and it's causing uh-huh. that. Yep. However, sure is. Then you have the Aguilas, and then you have the Hornities EOD M one. Look at this, sub MOA, nine oh six, and then the EOD X six ninety two. So if it was because of barrel heat, the last two would have just you know the curve would have just continued. Yeah. But look at these, they're right there. Six ninety two, slightly bigger than the burgers. Now so, uh, let's hypothetical situation. So say I see these results, and then uh-huh. I go back to Academy, and they ha- they have one box left of this, except for the uh, the Barnes, uh-huh. which is the one point one one six. They say they got a twenty box limit on the Barnes, and plenty of them. 
well, that's worth buying maybe two or three more boxes, mm-hmm. cleaning the rifle, right? shooting it cold, and seeing if it groups better. Right. And then meshing with the tuner a little bit. And if it does, go back and get your 20 limit type right. thing. But you they didn't have a the, 20 limit. No. They had a 5 limit. They had a 5 limit. Remember, and we, we had went to way jump over a, on that. We had, well, we jumped a few <laughs> hoops. Well, that was the other thing. They had a limit on how many we could buy. But uh, anyway, we got all we could get. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, it's this is... Um, this is not all inclusive. This does not state um, how well or how poor the ammo shoots because it's 10 rounds. It gives an idea of what I'm going to spend my money on or right. waste my time on further. Exactly. So this is a just a, we're just trying to, we're working it down the funnel, right? Yep. So, all right. So this is the first test with rifle number one. Okay. <clears throat> Again, Burger looked the best. Hornady not far behind. And surprisingly, is the first and the last. And that was not done. Like, there's no... I did shoot the only... Like, the order was just how I pulled out the boxes, except for the burgers. Uh-huh. It was a conscious decision. I'm shooting these first. first. Uh-huh. Because I know the, the rifles are zero to them. And, and it was a good, uh, you know to foul the barrel and give the other bullets actually a better chance to right. use the burgers because we already know how they shoot. Right. So, <clears throat> all right. That was the first one. Now we're going to go to a – this is uh, – This is the second iteration for rifle one. Yeah, so this is order. rifle one in reverse order, okay? <clears throat> so now the Hornady EODX 143s are first. Again, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Not – that's that's sub MOA, if I had to guess, and then we go to to the uh, Hornady match, the ELD match, one forties. Now uh, pause this real quick. I will say for my th- uh, Ethan's three hundred eight, I did low development with this bullet for his three hundred eight, mm-hmm. and it was phenomenal. Really, yeah. well, I mean, yeah, I've, it's it's good ammo. Uh, so this is the uh, match. Okay. One ohm high. Everything else looks pretty good. This is the uh, Aguila 140. Aguila. Look at that. Starting <laughs> starting off in the middle of the pattern. And see, now it's it's technically only the third one in, and it's still not looking much better. Yeah. That was uh, one of those was off the. Was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, see? I see the plywood. See, the, there's a little piece of cow dung. On the wood, and then all of a sudden it disappears. Bink. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking cow dung. Oh, man. Wow. Look is at that, that. Is that still the Aguila? Let me that might back. be. No, that, nice. that's probably the Federal. One, the two, Federal's going fast, so it was three, shooting high. Four. Where is it? It's right. It's off the side. You see that remaining look on the right? That, yeah, that's that's Federal. Okay. That one that pops up. So, anyway, Aguila shot pretty bad. Now, Federal, 120, one, two, <laughs> wow, three, four, five. Hey, they all hit the paper. They all hit the paper. Uh, wow. Shot better that time. Yeah. And then we have the Winchester 129. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Not horrendous. The Barnes 140, one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Okay, and then we have the Nosler 140. One, two, three, four, five. Not amazing. No. Then we have the six hour 129. One, two, off the paper right there. No, that's uh, you're up. Go down one. Uh, on your list, that's not the SIG. The SIG's uh, second to last. That's the SIG. Okay, my bad. So I got out of sync somewhere. But anyway, this is the SIG. Shoots really good. Is, is there one out? The, it's uh. Or was that part of the other group? Lower to the right. It's There's okay. one out, yeah. We're going to show you the graph here in a little bit. And finally, the burgers, one, two, three, and got cut, cut off out. again. That's all right. Here's the but here's the burgers, four in tight. Yep, and one out. So, again, let's go. 
So first now this time was the Hornady LDX 987 sub MOA. Oh, uh, so this is, uh, yep, start. There we go. Start from 10. Work your way oh. back across. Yep. Got to go the other way. My bad. All right. So Hornady LDX 771. Again, sub MOA. I mean, that's still pretty good. And then the EODM, a little bit big. And then the Aguila, boom. Six inches? <laughs> Six inches? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, dude. Uh, the, well, the, the Federals on the first test were, were damn near seven inches. <sighs> yeah. Uh, that's bad. Anyway, back at it. The uh, yes. the federal five and a quarter, and then again this this graph matches the other one very close, yep. and, and then it, it starts to drop off again. Uh, and this is you know round and, two, yeah, uh, with this In rifle reverse order, and uh, so this is actually needs more one test B. This is the last. Like this was my last group of the day right here, right. shooting these. So and and I'm sure like after two hours of shooting, um, actually more than that because I was shooting my six as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there's some shooter air probably in this. I mean, you got to be realistic on it, right? Right. Yeah. You know, tired. this is at the end of a long day of shooting, and it's like, all right, let me get this over with. Long day of work. Long day where it sucks, man. It sucks. <laughs> anyway, but however, it closely matches the other graph. Yep. Right? So to me, yeah, although not super scientific, it's still they match. Yeah, right? or this would be the second to last. Yeah, this would be the second to last test I shot. So. Regardless, the, the graph matches. Yep. So anyway, there you have it. The, uh, the Winchester 2.3, the Barnes <laughs> 1.7. The Norma, two point three, the Nosler, uh, two point two six, two one six, the Sig, one point nine, and the Berger again sub MOA at nine eighty seven. Okay, now again the rifle wasn't clean, no cleaning. Once you started shooting, the last shot on that barrel was shot a hundred. Yep, right, shot number a hundred. So a lot of, however, they still match pretty closely. Okay. On to the to the next need more number two. Same ammo, same test, same everything. Yep. Okay, here we go. Again, first is the burgers on a clean barrel. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Not bad okay. at all. And then again, six hour, four, five. The first one was low, the others went high. But they grouped. Nosler one forty. One, two, Three, four, five. That's not bad. <clears throat> the Norma 140. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. Yeah, that one really came in. Remember, this is a different rifle. But this is the one with the... Stock, stock. With the factory stock. Yeah. Uh, shooting pretty good. Then uh, this is the Barnes 140. One, two, three, four, five. So far, <laughs> it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Winchester. Winchester 129. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Federal 120. Now, this is what we couldn't get to shoot earlier in mm-hmm. the other rifle. They just wouldn't shoot. Nope. Wait. So, the first shot is way up there? Yep. Is that it. what it's at? It is. By the, by it the is, first it's group? It's up with the Burgers. One. Okay. It, it's emulating the burrs. It's like, that's Dude, my hero. Wait. I'm going to go hang up. Look at the hair. second shot. It missed the paper out the bottom. Yes, it did. You see you see the little twig come yeah. up right here. Yeah. Two. So right off the bat right three. there. You know, that's <laughs> eight and a half inch group. Four. Four or five. Wow. That's. Wow. Federal. Okay. Now, Aguila, one. <laughs> I get like hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. I got I got you, fam. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three, four, five. Okay. No, no. That that was four. I don't know where the fifth. No, one it's went. off. It's off the. It's, it's off to the, the right. Point. Yeah. I don't know where it went. So, 
Now it's the Hornady <laughs> EO DM. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, look that, at that. That gun. Love that ammo. Yeah. And then the Hornady EO DX. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Good stuff. Again, here's the groups. Here's the measurements. It's I prefer the graph. Yep. There you go. Look how this graph looks so close to the other one. Different rifles, huh? same ammo. Same ammo. But the graph It's the same. The Federal and uh, the Federal and the Aguilas are really Messing it up. In a in a way, they're not messing so, it up. So well, on give this one, nice well, bell curve. now keeping, like, I mean, look at the Federal. It's saying 4.4. That's not accurate because I couldn't find, like, watching the videos, I missed the shot that went up to the burgers, and I missed the one okay, that so went, I knew it went off the paper because I saw that it That would have been a much drastic. So that's, you know, it's a, you're still going to have that curve you're only the, measuring the ones that hit the paper. I can't. Like, my <laughs> software won't allow me to go <laughs> off the paper. <laughs> software says, come on, bro. Just <laughs> get you a different this, rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Software's like, are you serious? <laughs> Seriously, man. Like, <laughs> go Sorry. Give it back. We only have a seven, eight, or eight inch range. Anyway, so, however, the graph looks very similar yep. to. The, to the other one. To the other yeah. one. Different rifle, same ammo. Yep. Okay. Burgers, 879. Then uh, we go to the uh, six, hour. six hour, 1.8. And then it starts to fall back down to the Nosler, 1.2. Norma. Norma, sub MO8, 887. Winchester. And then Winchester is uh, 1 and 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, Barnes? Oh. oh, that was Barnes and then Winchester. And then federal, of course, federal got the benefit that you only measure the ones on the paper. Yep. Uh, but that was like eight inch, eight and a half, eight inches or so. Then the Aguila, six inches. Hornady, look at that, the match, 774. This rifle likes them better. Again, it's not, it's whatever setting is on there, it, it just shoots good. So it likes the, the Hornady match, and the other Hornady is just, Let's call that one MOA. One MOA. So, not bad. Not terrible. So, let's do it again in reverse order. Okay. So, now you're going to shoot the... Uh, oh, so, you just did it in reverse order. Yep. Uh, start at the bottom. EOD X 143. One, two, three, four, five. Not great. Not, a, not off to a great start. The EODM, which is what the rifle liked the best. Let's go around. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Four were tight. The last, yeah, one out. The Aguila, let's see if it gets better this go around. Mm. One, three, four, five. The last two printed, printed together. Yep. <laughs> that was a okay. fluke. The Federal, you, you must have pulled it. <laughs> must have. Uh, Come on, Federal. One, two, three. We're still on the paper. Still on the paper. Four. You see it down here? Yep. Yeah. Four, five. All of them on the paper. It's the best group right here. Look at so that. Far. Look at that, Federal. For Federal. Winchester, 129. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. So Man, close. Winchester had so it going. Close. If this had been a three shot. Contest or test, it would look pretty good. But this is why we do five. Uh, however, for a hunting rig, you shouldn't need five. However, this is the best way to test ammo. Ten shots would be better, which mm -hmm. is what we did, but we reverse them. Twenty would be even best, and so on and so forth. Uh, what was that? That was Win. That was Winchester. All right, so Barnes, one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. I like it's not a tight group, but I like how they they're consistent. I think the Barnes is the most consistent in like how the group patterned and everything. Yeah, because that can be tuned. Yep, with a tuner. Then the Norma. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Nosler. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the last two. Look at that. 
Exact Stack. same hole. Okay. And the SIG. One, two, three, four, five. Off the paper. Up, up top. Like yeah. right above the other And one. then last is the burger. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Not bad. Here's the groups. Here's all the measurements. If you want to pause the video and look at them. Uh, <coughs> but here's the... Uh, Here's the uh, the graph. This is what I like. It's to me, it shows everything we need to see. Okay, uh, again, the burgers right at one MOA. The uh, six hour one point five MOA. The Nosler one point one. The Norma two point four seventies. Let's call that two point five. The Barnes one point one. Again, it's it's one MOA. Uh, We'll see. We, we have it all averaged out here shortly. Uh, then we have the Winchester at one and a half MOA. The Federal at 6.2. <laughs> Aguila. Look at Aguila, man. Just coming through at 3.4. It's like I'll be in the middle of the road. Yeah. <laughs> but, again, the uh, the Hornady 2.2 and 1.8. Now, this definitely represents shooter fatigue. Yeah. Velocity data, here's all the data. Lots of numbers. Lots of numbers. Just, of course, remember the numbers, everything's the same. One being burger and 10 being Hornady ELDX. So the best numbers, uh, this is rifle number one, uh, both tests. So the Hornady, I'm mean not the Hornady, but the burger shot at ES of 16. And SD of seven, the first go around, and second go around, uh, 29 and 13. Now, here's something important. The first test, the burger was cold barrel. Mm -hmm. Cold and, and has, clean. Cold and clean. And it has, a, it has an average velocity of 27.11. The, on the back, on, you know, the other way around, uh, it was the hottest. Yep. And the average is 27.21. It only changed 10 feet per second. The ES and SD change, but the average velocity is only 10 feet per second difference. Now, so how much does it matter that it's a hot barrel based on that? You know what I'm saying? Well, let's look at the middle ammo, right? So let's look at five and six, right? What's five? Five and six. is uh, Barnes 140 and six is Winchester 129. So you look at average 2694, 2679, and then for the... Next one, 28.35 and 28.24. Yeah. So, <laughs> does it matter? Uh, I don't know. You decide. That's evidence. I, yeah. Well, I, I mean, look, like, even number, like, four, 26.44 and then 26.31. Look at three, 26.30 and then 26.41. Look at seven, 29.42, 29.23. I mean that's the biggest jump right there. But I think, but I think the the I think the the biggest ones that we could really use to emphasize this is the first and the last, yep. right? Because they got co shot cold and super hot, super hot. So Hornady, we we did that with Burger here shortly, but uh, you know a while ago. But let's do it with with Hornady, right? Uh, the Same. first go around. The average is 26.10 on the EODX, okay? 26.10 on where what would have been the hottest of the barrel, yep. right? And then the second go around, it was shot first. It's 25.95, 15 feet per second's difference. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Yeah, good info. All right, let's move on to uh, – this is, this is the data for – for rifle one. Yep. Okay. This yep. is everything combined. So who had the best ES and SD? Uh, it looks like the burger. With the Hornady e ELDMs close. Yep. The Hornady ELDM. Um, where is it? 38? Yep. Yeah. 38. 38. Yep. So the burger and the Hornady ELDM, so the both match 
Ammo. Mm-hmm. Had the best yes. Which, I mean, makes me happy. Ammo, it should be. Makes right? me happy <laughs> to know that, hey, that you actually get something. Okay. Uh, Burger also had the, is that the best group average? Yeah. All right. So. Oh, well, no. Actually, the Hornady ELDX is yeah, yeah. beat it out by uh, 17. 17 thousandths of an inch. Yeah. <laughs> So you can say they're almost identical. Uh, wow, that Hornady shot well. Anyway, so that's the data. Okay, that's rifle one. This is all the data for rifle two. And again, uh, the burger coming in tight on that ES. Look at that. Yeah, the burger uh, <laughs> definitely a lot better on um, uh, on this. this rifle. And again, you can do the comparison on the on the numbers over top. Yeah, man, it's. This one shows more of a difference between uh, the first one's twenty six seventy six, second one twenty seven thirty five. I think this rifle is more sensitive uh, to those cold bore shots because that, you know, the f- the very first one. Look at how low the the average speed is twenty six seventy six, and that's cold and clean. Oh yeah. And then the second time. Um, yeah. So that that one shot is skewing the whole thing. Uh, it either way, it still has a freaking tight ES. Um, but anyway, um, that, that eel, that, that Hornet eel DX still looking pretty good as far as the numbers go. Yep. Uh, seven, what seven federal federal. It had an ES of 15 on the second go around. Yeah. Had, had, it had the best numbers. It, wow. For ES. Well, yeah, no, almost, just slightly behind the burger. The burger had 14, but those numbers oh, were yeah, good. Did, yep. Well, that just kind of tells you that. Okay, so multiple things that this is telling us, right? Like, how much do you trust the chronograph? Right. Well, right. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I mean, how? Like, sh- should you? Uh, okay. Well, you know, if you're shooting a magneto, if you're shooting the lab radar, and then the the new um, and uh. Anti, I forget what it's called. Uh-huh. The little box. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the, they, they're it's reliable. You can trust those numbers, right? Like you, if you know, it should be. In the experiences that we've had, if muzzle velocity has been off, the the chronograph has shown it. It's not just a surprise. Like, that's not, why is that hitting low? It's like we have something right. else screwed up. Well, we're talking long velocity. range. Yep. But, but I mean, I guess all this shows us the fact that Federal is now it's 15 and it was 71 the first go around. Yep. Whereas, whereas the uh, burger was 19 and now it's 14. This just shows us that, guess what? The burger is consistent and the Federal isn't. Yeah. You just never know what you're going to. And that's precisely like this could have. Then just the fact that, hey, just five shots in a row just yeah. so happened that you picked the ones that had the, you know, the, the, the same powder charge it all, or whatever. It all, just the way you shot those. Came yeah. In, which, yes, that could happen, and it probably did happen. Yeah. So, like, um, I said this uh, in uh, video one that that's the lightest. The Federal is a 120 grain. Right, I believe that's the lightest bullet we're shooting. The Sig Sauer's one twenty nine, right? Um, and that's the fastest. That Federal was the fastest at you know twenty nine. Oh, coming up on average, so we got twenty nine forty one, twenty nine sixty one. So um, that's the fastest that we shot, and none of the rifles liked it. Right. So no. if if this is all you got, how do you fix that? Different bullet, different powder. Go lighter on your powder. Go ahead. Like I don't know. I mean, yeah. if you, I mean, but if you buy in factory ammo, there, there's it, no that, fixing. There's not. It's just you know, just, it's just don't just stay away just, from that. Yeah, federal. don't buy. Don't waste your money on that ammo. Um, and of course, here's all the data. Uh, yeah, and this this is where so especially for the burgers, we get we get a little skewed on our numbers. Um, and well, it it skewed because this rifle didn't like. It was shot the the first five rounds that it shot out of it with the cold and clean barrel was very slow. 
right. compared to what it shot the second go around. And so now we got huge ES and huge SD. Yeah, but it also has the best group Those? average. Yep, 970. I don't see anything smaller than that. No. And that's not, you know, this is. Uh, Nosler came in close behind. Yeah. Hornady, uh, this rifle didn't. It, it 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 shot the match great the first go around but not good the second go nope. around now keep in mind this rifle is the stock rifle yeah this is the, the well they, i'm i'm sure that uh most of the variants that we're seeing right here is due to 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 me like yeah. this is a, this was the last bit of the range and right like but i was done shooting that rifle <laughs> yeah it's it's just harder to shoot isn't it yeah it's not and and i want to give like I have made it known um, I'm not a fan of federal ammo. I don't care if it's gold match or not. <laughs> um, my experiences with federal, and these are mine, have never been good. Uh-huh. <clears throat> um, that being said, um, you know, did I induce bias? No, because I want to... I don't mind proving myself wrong, like, yeah. and I I love shooting. Well, if if and I want to shoot the, the smallest groups possible. Yeah. Um. But Federal and, and Aguila did not shoot small no, groups at didn't. all. They were the only two that really kind of threw everything. Yep. But it was like I said earlier. In a way, I like that because it it shows it shows, it shows without back and forth. You know, two different rifles, full you know, forward and backwards. They, they both just spike the chart, yep. which is just proves that, hey, uh, <laughs> they don't shoot. You know, this this isn't a review on the ammo at all, yeah. people. It's, it, you know, it's this is, hey, I need, I got a hunt coming up or, or yeah. all I can afford. I can't reload, don't have the time for it. And this is all I could get off the shelf. And you right go now. to Academy, yep. like we did, yep. and you see everything on the shelf, right? Bought a box of it. Right, but no. What I'm what I'm getting at is if 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 you are kind of like the person you you described, right? Not a whole lot of money. You have a hunt coming up. You need some ammo. You you have a six five Creed. Yep. And you go to Academy and they have every ammo like we just like we found. Which one do you buy? Mm-hmm. Well, use this. Now we know. Use this test <laughs> that we did, and hopefully it'll help you figure out at least what not to buy. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, obviously, the 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 Hornady and the Burgers, those are pretty pretty good, uh, yep. pretty sure choices. Now they're going to be the most expensive. Uh, the uh, Barnes, I, I don't know how expensive that is, but that shot not so, horrendous. I mean, looking at it, like uh, it, it's blatant, as you said. You know, Burger and the Hornadies, is it turn off the brain, get it, you're good. Um, the the Sig had some promise but fell apart right but the nosler the normal and the barns kind of held kind of consistent and then like even the winchester i'm not a fan of winchester ammo either but it just seemed to get tighter and tighter the dirtier the guns got i don't know that weird i I don't know that i would equate (laughs) that to but (laughs) no that's what i the point is it's consistent it is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make the claim that it shot better as the the barrel got dirty, <laughs> but I will make the claim that it was consistent. It was consistent. It, it wasn't great, but it was okay. But like in that could, sense, like the federal and the Aguila were consistent too. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. But that's it. That's it. So there you have it. Uh, hope this helps. Again, ten different types of ammo. Uh, no surprise there. The the more expensive match stuff yeah. gave it, you the best results. It, it was, was the best results. It, it was definitely fun to shoot. A li- more taxing than I thought it would be, but um, I know. But I mean, the results are what the results are. Yeah, compiling all this data. It's a lot. Uh, of data. <laughs> a lot of data. This is the type of stuff that we do on the forum. If you're not a member, go sign up. We do this all the time. Uh, we do it with uh, hand loads. We yep. do it with, we change uh, springs. We change triggers. <laughs> we, we do all this data all the time. We analyze data and see what actually works for you. Uh, we also teach you how to load, how to do all kinds of stuff that we're not allowed to do on public YouTube. 
So you can find all that over there. It's a Heck membership. Yeah. You pay monthly, but subscription trust service. Me, you will get what you know. You will get your money's worth for sure. Anyway, anything else? That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, keep them centered. Heck yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Not with the federal annual. <laughs> Later. <laughs>